Here is how you can add VFX on your short film. My name is AK and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'll be showing you guys how I created um, one of the effects from my short film. And I posted it on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram. So if you have not seen it, you might want to check it out by the way. So there's this effect I did, a screen replacement effect. So this was the original video. And then, yeah, I just replaced the screen because I can't. <laughs> and yeah, I'll also be, I also used the effect in another video that I dropped, by the way, which is this. I just replaced the screen. So it's a very nice effect. And I did this without using any green screen. And I'll show you guys how you can do that on your video, by the way. And also, if you're looking to follow this video, you might want to watch my um, After Effects VFS beginner course so that you can understand After Effects better because I'll just be going over some things that I won't really like go in depth because I've already done like a beginner course that will that explain After Effects from the scratch. So the first thing we'll do now after opening up After Effects obviously is to load in our original video. So I'm going to create a new composition from the original video and as you can see it's just me staring at the phone and why I actually replaced the screen was because I felt it was too low quality. I even thought I didn't press the play button and another reason because I can't. Why not? <laughs> and as you can see we are not even using any green screen but I'll still show you how to make it work. So yeah, the first thing to do is to trim out the part that we don't need. As you can see I have my face because we'll be doing some tracking. So I'll just cut out, press N on my keyboard. Just trim comp to work area i just right click and then click on trim comp to work area so i just have the phone and me pressing it so the first thing we want to do is to track the screen um to track the screen and then i'll be doing it with a plugin the plugin is inbuilt with uh, after effects i'm using after effects cc 2022 by the way i'm going to go to effect and i'm going to click on boris boris smoker and then I'm going to just click on Mocha AE and I'm going to click on this Mocha icon. Mocha is starting, just wait for that. And then I'll click on start. By the way, before you start, you want to make sure your quality is on full. So that way your tracking is even much better and Mocha is able to calculate even much better. So yeah, I'm going to zoom in and then the way to do that is just to click on this zoom in icon and just zoom in like this. And I'm going to use this move button to just move things to the center and use this um, pen to. By the way, you want to change if your mocha is on essentials or on any other thing, you want to change it to classic so that way you're able to like see all of these options. And I'm going to use this pen to now to just draw around the phone, just create points around the phone. And then when I get to this connecting part, I'm just going to double tap. So yeah, I've already created that point. Uh, make sure you're on the beginning of the video. So you want to make sure you're on the beginning of the video. And then change this 20 to just double tap and change it to 100. And click on perspective. And yeah, you want to click on this button. This is going to track your video forward. It's just going to track our phone and so yeah depending on the specification of your laptop your graphics card this might take um quite a little bit of time and yeah but my video is very short it shouldn't take a lot of time and as i've always done on this channel i'll be providing my own video for you guys for you guys to practice it so yeah um the tracking is pretty much done so i'm just going to scroll on the timeline and then yeah i love the tracking so now the next thing to do is just to click on this icon with the s so that will bring up this bluish thing and i'm going to activate this icon as well so now i can see what i'm doing make it full screen so i can see where i'm positioning this i'm going to position it on the edge of the phone like this i don't actually worry myself too much about it but just make sure you're placing it to the edge of the phone like this. Make sure it's like the right perspective. So now when I sc scroll on the timeline, 
the blue so it's a very pretty much nice track so the next thing to do now is to save the track by pressing command z or control um control s sorry or command s close mocha we are pretty much done in mocha so the next thing i want to do now is to create a new solid i'm going to go to layer new and create a new solid and i'm going to click on ok so this solid is going to be where we are going to be placing our, um, our screen the new screen we want on the phone and i'm just going to like pre-compose this so what do i mean by pre-compose is just right click and go to pre-compose and i'll click on move all attributes into new composition and just composition here i'm going to activate that and just click on ok so as you can see we have this so i'm going to switch it off for a minute and I'm going to click on my phone, my video layer, and I'm going to go to tracking data and go to create track data and click on OK. I'm going to create corner pin on corner pin. I'm going to create on corner pin support motion blow. As you can see, it has already created some corner pin points for us. So I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to select the pre-composed layer that we just created. So watch this when I activate it back and I click on apply export. See? It's now directly on the screen and it's following pretty much so nice. So now we want to go into this pre-composed layer. As you can see, the edge of our phone is curved, but this is just like a solid rectangle. So I'm just going to use a trick to fix that because normally when we are shooting for VFX, we shoot like on a green screen so that you are able to like just replace the screen easily. And then your finger can just go over the new screen but yeah i'm just i'm bad so i'm just going to show you guys the wicked way <laughs> so i'm going to go to layer and create new new ship um shape layer and yeah and i'm going to click on this rectangle too i'm just going to click on it like this it's going to create a rectangle for us and i'm going to go to this none by the way if you can't see it you see something like toggle switch mode but because my screen is very large Every option is here. So I'm going to go to alpha mate and then it's going to switch off the rectangle tool for me. As you can see, it's off. And I'm going to go into the rectangle. I'm going to go to the rectangle part and just increase the roundness. And increase it to like 97. And then when I go back, as you can see, it's not round. Yeah, because I'm wicked. So the next thing I want to do now is to add back the notch. So the notch is like the edge of the phone. That leads to black thing over here. So what we'll do now is to close this, just collapse it, and then select these two layers, and then pre-compose it again. Just right click and click on pre-compose, and click on OK. So now we can just go to layer again and new, create a new shape layer and then just draw a rectangle and to know my point to know the center of my video i'm just going to click on this and click on title slash action save and i'm going to place this rectangle just at this very top and just make sure it's at the center i'm going to move it even more up i'm going to go to this known and instead of alpha mate i'm going to change it to alpha inverted mate so at least that one we, I said at least. So that one we change, um, that one is going to subtract the edge of the phone. As you can see now the edge is gone, but we want to make it round. So we are going to click on, by the way, you need to click on the shape layer, open the rectangle, open the rectangle part, and then just increase the roundness like this. Yeah, that is pretty much done. We have added back the notch. And yeah, for our new screen, I'm just going to use the normal screen that I used for my own video, which is the Spotify screen. And I'm just, I could have made this a lot more, more easier for myself. But yeah, I'm just going to come here and just go to, I already screenshotted my Spotify screen, like I said. So I have one with a play button on and I have one with a pull button. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So if I switch this one off, so let me just switch this one. The device which is one of you see the play button. So it's too large for my composition. I'm just going to resize it, reduce the size to about 87. Just collapse the two. So I'm going to switch the one underneath 
and I'm just going to move this one up so now the next thing I want to do if I come back here the screen has been replaced but as you can see it went back to the rectangle edge so I'm going to instead of changing this one to alpha I'm going to keep it on no track mat and I'm going to no track mate and I'm going to just drag this one down and then now change this one to alpha shape so it's just basically what we did the other time I'm going to switch off this green color because we don't need it anymore I'm going to come back here and yeah we have our new screen so the next thing we want to do so if I switch this one off as you can see my hand is not going over the new screen so what we are going to do now is something I really like it's called protoscoping I'm just going to duplicate this video command C or control C control V and then I'll delete the mocha effect on the new one that I just duplicated I'll drag it up here and I'll go to the first frame like this I'm just going to click on this just double click on this layer first it's going to go into the video layer make sure your quality is on full by the way and then go to the phone layer I'm going to use this thing it's called the roto brush and I'm going to use the roto brush to just like draw around my finger like this I'm going to subtract the part I don't need I don't actually need this yeah so I'm just going to make it neat a little bit um, like I said I'm going to subtract this by the way I'm using alt to subtract but I don't need to I'm going to use a green yeah so when you want to subtract you hold down the alt key on your keyboard and yeah that will change to red so now I'm done with the mask and I'm just going to click on freeze and then what after effects would do right now is to actually just track around my finger so the pada just the finger alone and yeah depending on how high end and how large your <laughs> how good your graphics card is or your processor this might take a little bit of time so we're just going to wait for it so I can see some errors but for the sake of this video we won't really care so much about those errors so by the way if you see an error you can just click on stop and just fix it but yeah I'm pretty much satisfied for the sake of this tutorial and yeah so our tracking is pretty much done I'll just go back to the composition layer and just click on this tool so now when I play it just see where the magic happens the finger is now on so like I said as you can see the finger was cut off in a weird way so I'm supposed to let just like freeze and yeah just to animate the play button because I already have two screenshots so I'm going to switch this one on so I'm just going to use the rectangle mask tool and just max around sorry make sure you're selecting the picture layer just create a max like this and I'm just going to drag it up and position it on the play yeah so I'm going to look for the I'm going to go to my video and I'm going to look for the point okay so this is the point I feel like the screen is pretty much too up so I'm going to move everything a little bit down I'm holding down shift by the way so that so this is the point where the pause button will come in so I'm going to click on command shift D so I can delete the first part so for the first part we just have the play button and when it gets here it changes to the pause button so just let's play it again let's play it as you can see it changes so yeah that is pretty much how I replace the screen you can add some lens flare you can add some overlay just to make things look even a little bit nice and then this idea is going to work for all of your videos that has been shot this way and I hope you guys have been able to learn one or two things from this video I'll be making more videos like this showing you guys the um, behind the scenes of my shots I appreciate the support so far I got on this channel you guys have been so amazing and I hope you guys will keep coming back to check out this channel and keep learning don't stop practicing and I hope to see you in the next video
拜。